Good morning, my dear students. I hope you all are keeping safe and healthy and you're taking all the important precautions during this pandemic. My name is Abha and I'm here to share a story with all of you. The name of the story is Derek's Screen Addiction. So once upon a time, there was a boy. His name was Derek and Derek was 11 years old. He was the only child in his family and a pampered one. He lived with his mother, father and small kitten called Tom Tom. So it was the lockdown period and Derek was not able to go to school. Even after months, the, uh, the country had finally allow, announced lock, unlock one, unlock two and most of the organizations, the banks, the colleges were open but the, but the schools still kept shut. Though the online classes was, were going on, still Derek felt really bored at home. After attending his classes, he would watch television. And then from noon till night, he would watch television every day. So much that it actually became his addiction. With watching television, he would love munching snacks. With one hand, he would munch snacks and in the other hand, he would have the remote with which he kept on switching channels. Derek had actually made it his uh, part-time hobby. His parents were concerned regarding this. But Derek, he did not care at all. One day, his mother entered the room and she said, Derek, please get up, go out and play. Derek acted as if he had not listened to his mother and he kept on watching television. Well, after a few days, his mother could not take it. She went inside the room, she switched off the television and plugged it out. And she stood in front of Derek and told him to move out. Derek shrugged his shoulders and got up. While he was wearing his shoes, his eyes fell on the video game console. Quietly, he kept it inside his pocket and went out. He started walking towards the nearest park. There he sat under a tree on a bench. He took out his video game and started playing. After a few minutes, his father was crossing the park. He was coming back from work and he watched Derek playing the video game. He did not say anything to him but he drove back home. As soon as he came back he asked his mother. His mom was very happy and she said, oh you know what Derek has gone to the park today. Dejected, his father told her that he had watched him playing video game. Both the parents were extremely concerned. They didn't know what to do with Derek. The next day, Derek was again watching television. And while watching television, he heard sounds of giggle and laughter. He went near the window and he saw two children playing football. They were looking very happy and they were enjoying themselves. Derek switched off the television and walked out. He did not go and talk to them, but he looked at them from a distance. And then the next day, Derek did the same thing. The third day, the children noticed Derek looking at them. They came forward and they told that their name were Edna and Ryan and they were Derek's new neighbors. Then Edna asked Derek, would you like to come and play with us? So Derek said, um, I have never played any sport, so I don't know how to play actually. Will you teach me? Ryan and Edna smiled. And after a few minutes, Derek was playing with them. He indeed felt fresh. He felt really happy and he felt energized. Derek's mother was having her evening tea. She came near the window and she observed 
Derek playing with the kids. She smiled. From that day onwards, Derek made it a point to every day go out with Edna and Ryan, play in the park or go for cycling or walk to the park but not stay at home and watch television. He reduced his television watching time to minimum. And he actually felt and realized how important it was to go out, feel the nature, enjoy be, being, uh, doing some or the other physical activity, which made him feel good from the inside and he felt refreshed. And at the same time, his mother and father also made him understand how harmful screens can be for us. They make us really lazy. They slow down our thought process. And they also make our mood, somewhere or the other, vary. So my dear students, with this we come to the end of the story today. But I hope you realized how important it is to go out and indulge in some or the other physical activity, be it cycling, be it jogging, be it walking or be it playing. But during this corona pandemic time, it is also very important that you please maintain social distance. Always wear a mask whenever you go out and carry a sanitizer because your safety is your priority. If you yourself don't take care of your safety and health, then who else will? Thank you so much.